Hello everyone and welcome back to Dankinrampa 3. What did you just do? Was that a flashback light just now? Is it broken? I don't feel like I remembered anything. This flashback light has a special effect. You'll remember soon enough. You'll remember that despair is only a choice is the only choice you have, and that hope doesn't exist here at all. The killing game will never end. At that moment Monokuma left. He declared this uh, that this killing game would continue. He declared there is no hope. After that, I honestly don't remember how I got, we got back. I took all I had just to accept the reality that Kaido was gone. And not just Kaido, Kokichi too. Someone we all trusted and someone none of us trusted, we lost them both. But it, it wasn't all for nothing. Because we uh, were drawing even closer to discovering the true mastermind. Oh, there she is! The killing game will never end. Never, ever. As long as I'm around, it'll never end. I'll, re I'll repeat over and over again. Why would I let something this fun ever end? I want to have more fun. As long as it's fun, we, uh, we have to keep doing it. That's just a simple supply and demand. Such despair. So Junko is going to make an appearance in this game. Is she going to appear in the final class trial? She typically does, and it's t she's typically very funny. <laughs> I actually like Junko as a, as a villain, I'm not going to lie. Later that night, I found myself standing in that one spot in the courtyard, the place where Kaido and I would train together. My heart felt crushed, as the loss and guilt uh, and helplessness sinking in my chest. But I still I, I stood there. What are you doing? Ah, oh, Maki. So you came too. Yeah. Sorry. Maki, I'm sorry. For what? I was the one who drove Kaido into a corner. Just like Kaede, I ended up betraying everyone important to me. It's all my fault. Well, Are you feeling lonely? Huh? Hey. Are you lonely now that Kaido is gone? Well, yeah? Yeah, lonely. I feel so lonely and so sad that I don't know what to do. The only reason I'm still alive right now is because of Kaido. If he hadn't been uh, my friend, I, we, we, I would be... Me too. I can't remember the last time I ever cried that hard. I wonder how long it's been. But I won't cry anymore. I'm sad, but I'm grateful for Kaido. Grateful? Yeah, I want to tell him that rather than being sad or lonely, I'm grateful to him. That's why I won't cry anymore. I'm not going to wallow in pity. I want to show him how much I appreciate all the things he did. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's the same for me. I want to show my appreciation, too. I'm sure that, uh, that our friends who've passed on... Don't want us to don't want to see us miserable. Thanks. Yeah. Ah, so you guys were ha were here after all. Yeah. Just like I thought. I knew you guys would uh, would be here because I cast a spell to find you. Samugi so, Himeko. If you don't mind, can we join you in your training? What? I'll train uh, you all for all from the ground up so we can uh, we can end this killing game together. We're going to end this together. Himeko and I promised Kaido. Yeah, we're going to do whatever uh, what, what we promised and work together to end this killing game. We can't afford to lose in despair. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Monokuma said that there's no hope anywhere. But he's wrong. There is hope. My friends are my hope. <laughs> I like this. Kaido said it, but wait, where's Kibo? <laughs> I'm not alone. That's right, I have friends. Not, ju uh, not just my friends here, but also friends who have died. They all gave us their... Uh, they all gave us... Hope too. That's why I'm going to live. I want to live for everyone who died. Despair cannot defeat me. I will hold on and survive no matter what. Thank you, Kaido. Let your sweat wash away all your sadness, fear, worry, and hardships. Just start moving your body and your pain will become memories before you know it. Then you should train too. Well, I don't have anything to worry about. Because, I mean... I'm Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars. Hey, no fair, Kaito. Hey. Oh, by the way, what happened to Kibo? Do you know where he went? Kibo, I don't know. What is that guy off doing? I don't think a robot really needs to do any training. But the rest of us are here. I kind of wish he'd come too. Huh? And yet, 
his silence is quite refreshing. I used to hear my inner voice with perfect clarity. It would fill me with the power of hope, guide me along the right path. I can't hear it anymore. All I hear now is silence. That silence means my will is now my own. Even if despair is all we have to choose, even if hope no longer exists, I will never give in to despair. I... I will end this. Oh. No matter what, I will force this to end. This school, this ultimate academy for gifted juveniles, is steeped in despair. Wait, what? Oh my goodness! Is that like a th an actual 3D cutscene? How often do you get those in this series? Destroy it. Kibo, what are you up to? Oh my goodness! Kibo, calm down! Well, there we go. Chapter 5N, there's only five of us left. Dang. Hmm. You know, honestly, I really, really like that class trial. I didn't really react to it much because I was so concentrated during it. Galactic Jacket. Because that, that was actually a really difficult trial, and I feel like a lot of the parts I got stuck on were my fault, too. Huh. <laughs> All right, let's save here. Oh, no, no, no. Dang, I got a lot of coins. Uh oh, I guess I should introduce myself. My name is Makoto. Uh, what? Makoto's the protagonist from the first game. I don't have any talents or anything, I'm just a regular teenager. But that's not Makoto. Lectures. I'm just treated like empty space in the classroom. At home, my parents are constantly on my case. Honestly, I'm fed up. I want to run away from my daily life. I want to run away and just forget all this. I want to run away and run away and run away and run away and run away. But I'm okay. I huh? have a reason to live. I've got something to look forward to. That's why I'm gonna be okay. Thanks for the courage. Thanks for giving me something to get totally obsessed with. <laughs> Angry birds. <laughs> Thanks for the strength to keep going. I'll keep on rooting for you. So please keep trying your best. And one day, I'll also... I know this is supposed to be like a young Makoto or something, but I'm, I'm still really bothered by how little this looks like him. <laughs> he has like poofy hair or something. Oh, okay, back to this. <laughs> Damn it, Ki Dang it, Kibo, what are you thinking? Also, that building is six floors? Really? Uh, what happened? The school building uh, blew up. What happened? Hey, over there. I turned my head to where Maki was pointing. Oh my good. How much of their budget did they blow on this? Uh This is kind of ridiculous, though. <laughs> Kibo! Kibo, what are you doing? You're flying, and is it magic? I don't know what he's planning, but it looks like he's attacking the school indiscriminately. We need to hurry up and stop him. We'll get caught up in this mess if we don't. But how do we stop him? We have to talk to him. We can't get him to come down. It's dangerous, but let's go to the courtyard and try to get his attention. Yeah, you're right. Confused by the situation unfolding in front of us, we ran to the center of the courtyard. <laughs> We're not going to show you the rest of that room because we couldn't bother to model it. <laughs> Dang!
It's like a battlefield. We need to get his attention. Get him to come down. Kibo, come down. Are you trying to get us killed? Please, Kibo, come down and talk to us. I shouted out to Kibo, who finally came to a halt midair, and then slowly flew down to us. Here he comes. Yeah. <laughs> Did you call for me? Please keep it brief. I have other matters I must attend to. Huh? Other matters? I'm going to end the killing game. End the killing game? To do that, I must destroy the Ultimate Academy. Destroy it? The killing game cannot go on if you destroy the school um, in its entirety. So that's why you have that weapon. What's with the weapon on your jetpack? I obtained this equipment from my lab. You had equipment like that just lying around? I made some modifications to drastically improve their power output and functionality. Since when have you been able to do that? You didn't le uh, le level up or anything, right? Did something happen? Didn't you say that you didn't want to use anything from the lab? That's right, you don't like the look of the stuff that looks sci-fi. Yes, I want to be treated like a real human, a creature of flesh and blood like you. But no longer, I, I no longer have that luxury of clinging to, a, to, to that wish anymore. My course is clear, I must destroy this academy and end the killing game. Hold on, if you do if you do something like that, we'll all die too, you know? There's no oxygen in the outside world. There are no living things. We're only able to survive because we're inside the spaceship, you know. That's right, are you trying to kill us too? You know, I just thought of something. Could Kibo go out into that world? Because I don't think... Does he breathe air? I feel like the game might have mentioned that at one point if it was brought up. But like, he said it was powered by electricity. If my actions result in your death, so be it. So be it. Monokuma told us that despair is our only choice. That hope does not exist here. And unfortunately, he is right. As long as this killing game continues, only despair awaits us. We still have hope. Remember. Our hope is everyone here, our friends who are still alive. Right. Yeah, if we all work together, e e even this killing game will... 100%. I will not stop. It will never stop. What should we do? And even if we did manage to stop the killing game and escape, where would we go? Earth is destroyed, humanity is extinct, we have no home to return to. That might be true, but... Monokuma is right, despair is all we have here. We simply do not have the power to change the outside world on our own. All we can do now is, refu is uh, refuse to submit to despair. And, uh, and you would be willing to let all of us die to accomplish that. That is far for a far better alternative than allowing Monokuma to continue the killing game. Are you serious? Kaido and Kikichi gave their lives to end the killing game. We should follow their example. We should be willing to give our lives to end the killing game. Is that what your inner voice is telling you to do? No, I can no longer hear that voice. You can't hear it anymore. No, oh, I just have to check something. For some reason, my inner voice has gone silent. This uh, this decision is my will, my choice. I've chosen to modify myself to destroy the Academy. We can never submit to despair, because we are students of Hope Speak Academy. No, that's wrong. Wrong? Because there might still be hope. There might still be place we can call home. And uh, what are you basing this claim on? Nothing! I just have a feeling. Just a feeling. You sound like that idiot just now. Kaido said so. It's just like Kukichi said. If the game's rules matter so much, someone's watching. Okay. There can be no killing game without an audience. <clears throat> Hulk's Big Academy was the same way. It was a killing game made for an audience. The game must be the same way. Someone is watching this somehow. There's someone left. There's still a possibility. True, we cannot say there's, there's absolutely no possibilities, but even a mere possibility... That's possibi that possibility is our hope. What? We haven't investigated everything. There are still a lot of mysteries in the school. If there are still questions to answer, then we haven't found the truth. And that means we can't give up. We can't give up before we reach the truth. Spoken like a true detective. Very well, I should cooperate with your attempt to stop the killing game your way, Kibo. But you have until dawn. I will not wait any longer than that. Till dawn? Um, though dawn here is simply an illusion projected onto the dome. You, if you cannot stop the killing game by dawn, I will destroy the academy and end the killing game myself. You're gonna end what now? No, what? Did I tell you? He's back. Attempting to destroy the precious academy is more than a violation of school regulations. 
It's an act of, of mutiny. So what? You are sorely mistaken if you think I will allow this to continue. Is the robot malfunctioning? He must be. Why else would he try to defy me? Then let's uh, <clears throat> then let's kill him until he dies. He he dies from it. Hell yeah! Ripping a robot apart isn't gory at all, so I can go all, all out this time. Pops, can we kill him, please? They're so brazen because they don't have their their any hair downstairs. Well, any last words? Eek! They're all in battle mode. This place is dangerous. You all need to get out of here. Kibo, are you okay? Suichi, so, please find this truth that you mentioned earlier while I stand while I stall them. It's all your it's all in your hands now. Go. Alright? Wait, is Kibo actually going to die? Oh never forgive rule breakers. Anyone who messes with the killing game must die. Exercise No, I won't let you run amok anymore. This killing game is over. In the name of Hope's Peak Academy, the symbol of hope itself. I will destroy the Ultimate Academy, and bring down this monument to despair. That's how it began, in a war between Kibo and the Exosols. The Ultimate Academy became a battlefield. Goodbye, Dankin Rafa. Bye! <laughs> Wait, Deadly Life, we're already starting this? We just started Chapter 6. Uh, we ran to the entrance hall trying to escape the battle that was unfolding. Wow. Things have suddenly become really bad. So the robot uprising finally happened. It's uh, what I always feared, but I never expected it to be like this. But why would Akuma leave a weapon like that in the research lab? He's pretty careless, isn't he? So it's only the four of us. I'm not scared, I'm not scared. Hey, what should we do? Just as I said before, we need to find the truth in order to end this killing game. Okay, but what do we need to look for? Obviously, we need to find the real identity of the mastermind behind the killing game. The mastermind? Is that really a mastermind of this academy? If the outside world is destroyed, then the mastermind must be in the school, right? Koichi wasn't the mastermind, then in that case... But I thought the, um, the only ones saved by the Goffer Project were us 16. Don't you think it's possible someone may have infiltrated the Goffer Project? That someone could be the mastermind, hiding somewhere in the school. Somewhere? You mean the remnants of despair, right? That someone uh, else inside the academy besides Kokichi is a remnant of despair. If we can find them and kill them, then uh, this killing game should end. I don't know about killing them, but there is a possibility that the mastermind is hiding somewhere in the academy. This, co uh, this complex is huge. There must be places we haven't explored yet. It seems like it's worth a shot. And that's not the only thing we have to find. To truly end this killing game, we must find the, the mastermind of despair. And also find hope. Alright? Our hope, where, uh, where we're going to live after this killing game ends. I hope there is hope out there. We have to find it before we leave. There isn't, this isn't some fictional story, so I don't think that uh, things will work out like that. But if we look for it, we might, uh, we might find it. If we don't try, we'll never find anything. So we have to try. Since Kibo is distracting the Exosols, we won't have to worry about violating school rules. There must be other rooms that we haven't investigated yet. You're right, there is no point in complaining. Let's all just do what we can. Well, if, uh, if, um, yeah. If we all work together, everything will be alright. Yeah, it shouldn't be difficult. No matter how impossible it seems, we'll accomplish it. Maki. Yeah, that's right. right. We need to find the hope and despair hidden in the Academy. With all this revealed, the killing game will end. Already? Oh my goodness! Then let's split up and start searching. We're going to split up, but we were just in such a united mood. Well, we don't have enough time left to, um, to go all together, unfortunately. Right, we'll see each other soon. Okay, I guess? I should go too. We need to end this killing game before dawn. Ah! Whoa. A hole? Now's my time to test your bonds with your Now is the time to test your bonds with your friends. The time of dawn and your bond with your friends will be displayed. If your bond increases, you can move large debris. Wait, what? So work hard to end the killing game before dawn breaks. Wait, hold on a moment. Wait. 
Uh, what? Wait. What? Wait, hold on a moment. Uh, okay, wait, so this is out of nowhere. Let's check out this while we're here. That's a cool jacket. Uh, oh, and we can't look at the map. Okay. I guess I'll just wander around and see if I can find people. Uh, this is weird. Wait, how do I get back in? Okay, like that. Whoa, what? Oh, no! Ah, dang it. There's a staircase. Why is there a staircase here? Was this staircase supposed to unlock by a mysterious item? There must be clues here. I have to investigate. Wait, I thought it was blocked by debris, but okay. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> you know, I've said before that I've never really been a huge fan of the final chapters of these games. They they tend to be just plot dumps. But I'll, I'll, st I'll stick with it. This is weird. Um... Oh, what? It's broken, but from this door. This must be an ultimate lab. It isn't open, but there's only one ultimate lab left. It's Kokichi's. Really now? This door isn't supposed to open. For rules, if a student lab does- yeah, yeah. Kibo's explosives broke the door. I should be able to get inside. I have to go inside. Oh, what's this gonna be like? Oh my goodness, that's kinda cool! <laughs> It's like a secret base. It looks like the it looks like the Bat Cave a bit. Uh, so this is Kokichi's lab. It certainly does have the evil organization feel, but there's nothing that would identify a remnant of despair. Let's show him that the students of Hosby Academy will never submit to despair. At that time, Kaido was in the Exosol, but it didn't seem like he knew anything about the remnant of despair. But even without the memory, the truth is, is the same. If this lab was uh, was made by for Kokichi, there should be some link to the remnants. Perhaps it's hidden somewhere. I should investigate thoroughly. Okay, I guess. Oh, and you can still knock stuff around. I wonder if that's part of the time limit though. So let's just let's just yeah, let's just examine normally. Whoa! <laughs> Look at those anime hairs on the left. There are matching shoes and suits of many colors. This if if this is the ultimate supreme leader's lab, are these uniforms for other members of the organization? There are some unsettling objects here. Gas masks, handcuffs. There are also wigs and glasses for disguises, I imagine, but it seems comical. This doesn't seem like a, like something the Reynolds of the Spear would use. <laughs> what about the Batmobile? A supercar! <laughs> a supercar? Is this some kind of thing that members of equalizations drive around in? But would an equalization really want to drive around such a flashy car? It's more like a child's idea of what an evil organization would have. A large table, one I imagine is used for strategy meetings. There's nothing of any particular interest on top of the table. What's that? Emblem. This must be the, uh, the emblem of the organization that Kokichi leads. But does the Round of Despair put up emblems? It says dice on it. Huh? This is Kokichi's chair, definitely something a supreme leader would sit in. But something feels off. It's all too cliche. It feels as if the entire room is just an elaborate prank. Or a lie. Oh, okay. What's over here? Oh, the helicopter. A toy helicopter. Is this Kokichi's? <gasps> Looks like the controller is over there. I... What am I supposed to look at? 
A book? Where is that? There's a collection of files here bound like a book. The Complete History of Hope Speak Academy. I picked up the book and began rapidly thuffing through the pages, and inside... These are all scenes from the first game. Oh no. Oh yep, okay, okay. They're doing the classic pl uh, plot dump. Oh boy. I was kind of hoping it wouldn't be like this in this game, but whatever. <laughs> Something's not right. Something is off, because the things are written in this book. You got a minute? Do you really have time to read a book? Uh. Maki! I flinched in, in surprise as Maki uh, peeked uh, at, at the thick book in my hands. The complete history of the Academy. What's the point of reading this now? You don't remember Hostby Academy with the flashback late, didn't you? Yeah, I thought that as well. Maki, this is perfect timing. Will you come with me? For what? I need you to tell uh, tell me everything you remember about the history of Hostby Academy. But why? I need to check something important. I don't really understand, but I um I just need to talk about it, right? She gave me a big, almost th theatrical sigh, and then started speaking in a bored narration. What is that name? <laughs> it's, I swear. The world was plunged into ruin, and humanity into the depths of despair. This tragic event was caused by a lone high school girl. The ultimate despair, Junko and Oshima. In order to fulfill her plans to plunge humanity and the world into utter despair, she organized the killing game of Hope's Peak Academy's 78th class. Trapped by the ultimate despair, the 78th class was forced to participate in the killing game. Dang, this brings back memories. <laughs> but in the end, Junko and Oshima died at the hands of the very killing game she mastermind. I actually don't remember the final chapter of the first game. With her death, the despair outbreaks ended, and the world slowly began to recover. But the remnants of despair continued to carry out Junko's legacy of despair. The future foundation was established to fight against them, and their war raged on until one day, when the war suddenly ended. The meteorites, right? You can skip that part. Is that all right? Do you remember anything about the new Holspeak Academy? As for the Academy. members of the Future Foundation and resumed operations. They continued to scout students who possessed ultimate level talent. And that's all we know. This doesn't make sense. No, that doesn't make sense because the, uh, what Maki just told me is exactly what I remember. Then what is written in the book? Are these just lies? Or are they... Ah! I turned to one page almost without thinking. It's wrong. It's just the afterword written on the on the last page. It says that these documents were collected by several esteemed researchers. This is the most thorough, accurate book written on the subject. Well, it says it's uh, the complete history, so what's the problem? The problem is, if this is true... Well, what does that say? Uh, we can't ignore these inconsistencies. I should investigate more. In order to investigate this... I need to know more about Kokichi. I found this in his lab, after all. Hey. Maki, I think I'm going to, uh... I think I'm going to go to Kokichi's room now. Why Kokichi's room? I had to verify something. I had to determine which things he said were the, was the truth and which was lies. Including if he really was a remnant of despair. There's no doubt that he was a remnant of despair because of that memory. Okay, okay. Well, whatever. If that's, if that's what you want to do, then I won't stop you. Thank you. I never would have imagined this. Like, Okichi's lie might be the breakthrough we need to find the truth. Oh, what? What is this? What just happened? Oh! Um... 
Makoto? Hmm. You know, we're at a half hour. I think I'm going to leave it off here. I'll see you folks next time. Thanks for watching.